What's up everyone? I hope you all having an amazing day. This is Dominic Dan and welcome to our channel Angry Matcha. So guys, the road that I'm standing right now is in the Vivekanagar intersection road. The road which is ahead of me goes to Kolmangla, the road on my left goes to MG road and the road behind me is Nila Sandra. And also there is a very special thing about this place. There's a very famous church called Infant Jesus Church in the surrounding and moreover there's a lot of people across Bangalore come to visit this church and once they finish their visit they buy some fresh vegetables fresh fruits and also some real fresh meat in this place i'm really excited to go check out this place i'm sure you guys are excited to check out this place so what are you waiting for let's go i can already feel the hustle the bustle the traffic the honk the noise it's crazy guys कितना है 150. It's a four square polo t-shirt. Looks really good. Looks branded. And by its price, कितना बोले आप? A 150. It's just 150, guys. We also have the Tommy jeans over here. Or it's a 200, 250. Tommy jeans for 250, guys. Bali Nila Sandra. Awesome. And I'm sure you can wear this for your gym or for your daily use, or maybe when you take your dog for a walk or anything, but really nice. The Infant Jesus Church in Bangalore is a Roman Catholic church and was founded in 1971 in Bangalore's Vivekanagar neighborhood. This church is well known not only in Vivekanagar and Bangalore but throughout India. Neela Sandra is a well known Bangalore neighborhood. During the day, this location is like any other place where people walk in and walk out to buy groceries or other essential commodities. But in the evening, it transforms into a street food paradise for the locals. There is also a well-known mosque in Nilasandra called in Makha Masjid, where people come every day to pray and post that there is a food festival for locals, guys. So guys, when we think about sheikh kebab, veal kebab, nalli soup, beef chop, chicken chop, our thoughts, our mind will automatically think about Shivaji Nagar, Johnson Market, Fraser Town and also the popular Mosque Road. But how many of you all know there's another area called Nila Santa which has been serving amazing street food from generation after generation, night after night. So that's the place we are going to try today guys and I'm really excited to try some amazing street food after a long time. So let's go check out this place. Oh God, one second. Guys, the sun has set. Let's go check out the street food of Nila Sandra. I can already see the smoke wafting through the air. I'm really excited, so let's go. Guys, if you can see on your screen right now, the smoke is wafting through the air. I can feel the aroma of the grilled meat cooking on that grill. This place looks vibrant and colorful. So let's go inside and check out your food. Come on. Okay guys, the first dish that we are going to try here is called as the Nali soup. This is a traditional soup of Nila Sandra, which is uh, actually just simmering down the bone marrow for closely for two hours. And this is the result and if you can see this, uh, there's an, actually an oil layer but uh, I was told that it's not any kind of refined oil. Bone marrow soup or nulli soup in this matter is rich in minerals that help build and strengthen your bones. It also contains many other healthy nutrition including vitamins, amino acids and essential fatty acids which makes this soup a very hearty soup guys. So let me take a bite of it. 
I'm sure you guys didn't see me biting. That's right, I did not bite. It just melts in your mouth. You don't even need teeth to actually, up, you know, I mean, to take a bite. It just dissolves in your mouth itself, guys. This dish is really good. In terms of taste, the spice level is perfect. It's a little peppery. The salt is perfect, and also they have given you some lemon if you want. I mean, if you want a zesty flavor in this, you can go quite liberally squeeze in some lemon and feel the zesty flavor in this dish. But I like this soup and the way it is. Mm. Amazing soup of Nila Sandra. Guys, I'm sure everyone would know this dish. This is the sheet kebab, guys. The sheet kebab of Nila Sandra. You can already see the fat is dripping into that hot charcoal. I can already smell the grilled meat coming out of this, and I'm really excited to try this dish, guys. Right now, what you see on your screen is the sheet kebab, and sheet kebab is a type of kebab made from minced beef, fat, and a lot of spices. And the fat is used to give consistency while cooking, so that it holds and binds everything together while grilling in the charcoal. And the first thing that I have noticed in the sheet kebab is this dish looks very rustic. So let me taste and tell you how it tastes like. So it easily breaks apart. I think it's cooked perfectly. So let me just take a bite. Mm. Wow. It's a bit salty for me. I don't know. So I think it's a bit salty. In terms of the flavor, it's really good. Has a smoky flavor in it. The spice level is perfect. But yeah, it's a bit salty for me, guys. But overall, a very wonderful dish. And also, if you want to add some lemon in it, you can quite liberally squeeze some lemon. I'm sure the lemon and some onions with it is a very amazing dish. Uh, let me just uh, ask them if they like have some semia to go with it. But yeah. Okay, guys. So let me try with the semia. The sheik kebab actually gave me a sense of satisfaction. But let me try the local style in Nilas under what they do. So you take some semia, fill it with the sheik kebab, some onion, and a little lemon. Just to give me the zesty flavor in this. So fold this up. Take a bite. Mm. Wow. Guys, this is like the ultimate combination of the grilled meat, fresh onion and the homemade, freshly made semia. Nothing can beat this guys. Wow, you guys have to come to Inla Sandra and try out this food. This is like awesome. And also, if you can't finish the soup, take it. Dip it, let the semia take all the juice from the soup. I'm so glad that we're actually doing the vlog today because um, I feel Dilla Sandra is like a food paradise, guys. Guys, the heavenly aroma that's coming out of this grilled meat is like outstanding, guys. And this is also called as the beef chops or the beef pal. This is the iconic dish of Nila Sandra, guys. My mouth is already watering to taste this dish. Okay, guys, what you see on your screen right now is called the beef chops or the beef pal. And this is something that I've been wanting to try for a long time. The first thing that I've noticed is the meat is actually very soft. Let me see if I can tear it apart. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this guys, look at this. 
Okay, now let me just take a bite. Mm. I can definitely feel the pungent of the chili. The masala I use is very flavorful. I'm sure I can taste a lot of ginger, a lot of garlic. The meat is a bit chewy. But overall, an awesome dish, guys. No, thank you, Baya. And we also got the veal kebab. But let me finish with the beef chops. And then we'll go to the veal kebab. Guys, this dish is awesome, actually. I mean, I didn't expect. I mean, it's meaty. You can also taste the umami of fat that's burned in this charcoal, guys. Uh, here's the fat. Uh, here's the good thing. Mm. Mm. It's oily, fatty, and juicy. Mm. Guys, here we have the wheat kebab. So this is like any other kebab, deep fried with a lot of spices. So let me just take the good piece. Yeah. Mm. Chewy, fatty, and oily. Wow, awesome dish, man. And even the uh, spice level, guys, it's very simple. And the uh, red color that you see on your screen, that's because they have added uh, artificial coloring just to make the dish more special. But overall, a very good dish. I wish they used uh, less of the uh, coloring on this dish, but overall, a very good dish. I'm loving Milas Angra already. Okay guys, I also want to let you know, you know, when we go to a restaurant or to a local eatery, we always adore and savor, you know, like any kind of food. But believe me or not, guys, there's a lot of hard work, a lot of labor that goes into the preparation of these meals. It is so excruciating, but with these men, I didn't see that they are very joyful, very friendly. Even when we came down and when we asked them permission, sir, if you can shoot, they welcomed us wholeheartedly. So if they actually see this video, so thank you, gentlemen. And also the shop name is called Zion Kebab Shop. The location of this place and the exact address will be shared on the description below. So all the machas and all the machis who's watching this, like maybe in Austin Town, Vivek Nagar, Ijipura, Kormangla, anywhere in Bangalore. So do come check out this place. Do thoroughly enjoy the street food of Nila Sangha. So do not forget that. Guys, there's a surprise for you. So let me take the senior. Let me take some sheik kebab. Let me take some pork, the beef chops. Let me take a nice piece with some fat and meat in this. I think this looks good. The meat is perfectly grilled. And a little veal kebab on this. Wow, my mouth is already watering, Shelton. Some onion in this. And a little squeeze of the lemon. Guys, uh, before I eat this, I also want to thank each one of you for liking our video, commenting our video and also subscribing too. So this is for you all and this is also for my friend who is behind the camera, Shelton. Thank you. So let's do it. Mm. Wow. Mm. My mouth is full. But I'm still going to talk. The first thing I can taste is the sheet kebab here. Then the beef chop. Mm. Now I taste the milk kebab. The chunky, chewy meat. And the freshness of the onion. And that zesty lemon flavor, guys. This is the ultimate combination of grilled meat deep fried meat, fresh onion, and the same here. Let me take another bite, actually the last bite. Mm. 
I'm loving my job right now, guys. Simply awesome. So after this, uh, someone actually told us there is a sweet shop called Delhi Sweet and also another sweet shop called the Calcutta Sweet Shop, which is very famous in Nida Sandram. So after this, we are gonna go there, have a bite of some Indian sweet. Let's see how it goes, guys. The meal was so great and I feel like having some dessert, so let's go guys. Hey, you have a Delhi sweet sana first. You have changed the name. Here we have the motichur ladu and the cham cham. So this is a famous delicacy in the north side. So let me just take a bite. Mm. Wow! The ghee is infused in this ladu. It's not very sweet. It's perfectly sweetened. Let me go with the cham cham now. Wow, the first bite I took, the sugar gushed in my mouth and the creamy texture of this chum chum, wow. I'm sorry Shelton, I'm going to eat this full. Mm. What a dish to end my evening. Guys, this is Neela Sandra. We did not have much time to shoot around the place. But I promise you, we will come back here again from the time we went to Infantry's Church, the masjid, the street food and everything. And also, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and also drop a comment on the comment section. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. This is Dominic Dan from Angry Matcha. Take care of yourself, stay classy and always stay hungry, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Subscribe to Angry Macha!